everybody, how's it going? I am, you know, I already have Halo stuff posted on the channel. But what I'm going to be doing now, or more or less now, is I'm going to have redstone tutorials. And so today, I am not going to show you that. That's my squid tank and all its awesomeness. But I will show you this piece of awesome work. So it's a big pitfall trap. And I have a small one, just in case you're wondering. But basically, it goes like this. And I will show you another example of, although it has a lot more circuitry and it'd be impractical for a single player map, this is what you would do normally for, like, I don't know, just being conservative with your redstone. And that's how that would work. But that takes a lot to hide. But with the other one, you can have the entire thing underground. Although it does get a bit laggy. This is just an addition piece. But um, basically, that is the thing. So I'm going to be showing it to you on what it looks like when it's built above ground. So, let's get right into it. Alright, what I'm going to do is clear my inventory. Alright, so what you're going to need is you're going to need... I'm using sandstone since my world full of sandstone and random villagers. Um, I'm going to get a lime block, a blue wool block... And for the redstone, sticky piston, torch, redstone, uh, repeater, pressure plate, and uh, I think that's all. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, so first you're going to mark out 15 blocks, so... Alright, so that's our 15 line, I'm just going to mark this for myself. And it doesn't have, the blue line doesn't have to be that long, it's just showing me where everything is. And so you're going to make two lines of 15, so 15 by 2, and then you're going to go up one. Uh, you're going to put torches, uh, redstone torches, redstone torches on that, and then you're going to put your second layer or row of green wool blocks, and then you're going to put redstone torches on this side, and I forgot to mention, this trap is 15 blocks long, like the entire fall through is 15 blocks and then you are going to put there just so you can begin again. And you're going to go down one. And another. And one more. And I do not know how. I measured that blew out perfectly, but you know what happens, so that's freaking fantastic. Okay. Alright, finish putting redstone torches on this side. And don't try to use this on a server. If you're going to make one for a server, use a conservative version, but this is going to be laggy as all hell, so do not, please do not use it. I tried, it doesn't work very nicely. Well, like, a populated server, like a high pixel or something like that. There's another one. Oh, Lava Craft, I, th I think. Sorry, I'm, I haven't gone on a multiplayer server for a while, but... It, it gets super laggy, so I wouldn't recommend trying that necessarily. Alright, so now we're putting... Those repeaters are just to guide the power into the block, which will turn off the redstone torch, which will turn these on. 
that's what those are for. And this is just to renew the signal so everything is nice and clear. And so now I'm going to make the backboard for our sticky pistons. Going to need a lot of sticky pistons. And you can get rid of these blue blocks after you are done putting on the pistons. But for the sake of right now, I don't feel like it. So basically, you need a. Oh, and you put blue, or you put your other colored block right here. Then you put sticky pistons on top. So on each side, but on. Wait, hold on. I'll turn my fan off. I just noticed that it was in the background. I don't want you guys hearing that. All right. So basically, you guys are going to be having 60 pistons on each side, 120 pistons. So, like I said, impractical for a uh, a single player game. But because I mean, you could trick creepers easily without having to go to the lengths of having your entire trap underground. Although it would be pretty cool to build this in single player. And I want to go to say that this is completely of my own design and I did not steal this from anybody else. So all mine. I'm, I'm proud of it. I just started really playing with redstone like two or three weeks ago and uh, I've gotten considerably well in the amount of time that I've actually had to work. And so here we go. Get a little string of red stro redstone along this. And that's going to push it out. That's perfectly fine. Ah, sweet. Clear weather. And, uh, doop. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put a, another layer on top of this. And one more. And so basically what you're doing right here is the same thing you did right there. And so, and the repeaters, uh, what they can do with pistons is that they can power the top and the bottom piston at the same time. So, it makes life a little easier. String it along. Linear the circuit. And for the top, you're going to set these to four ticks and so there you go string that along and string the redstone along and you're gonna put one more at okay that's four okay one two three four one. Okay, so you're going to have two at two ticks, each going to their own place. And then this comes back here. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> I'm dying. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to invert the signal. There we go. And inverting the signal is important. So if you want to act like a trap to where you step on it and then it'll trap you through, that's what the importance of inverting a signal is. And so this should. Okay, it appears that I have messed something up. All right. Oh, yep, I know exactly what happened. All right. Do, 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 do. Ah. All right. Oh. All right. And 
is. So basically what you're, oh, and why that didn't work is because um, the redstone source wasn't directly linked to that. It was kind of turning right there, so it wasn't linked to that block, so it wouldn't transfer right, or it wouldn't transfer at all, but now it should work. And actually, the reason for these delays is you have to have a six delay up here and no delay down here for this to work. It's just how it works. If it's not like that, it's not going to work. And to increase the time so your prey, I guess, could be in the middle, all you're going to do is just play some more repeaters. And... That's my two. And this is a four. And now... Okay, that's how I solve my problems, I kill myself. And where is my contraption? I went this way, right? Oh, well, that, that was dumb. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I, I see. You just basically, for the delay, that you have to repeat that on the top and bottom. And there you go. That's how to make a 15 block long pitfall trap. And like I said, complete my, my own design. And I will give you more tutorials another time. Have a nice day.